Let the peoples recount the wisdom of the saints, and let the church proclaim their praise. Their names will live on and on. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. This morning we continue to listen to the Sermon on the Mount, the compact teaching of Jesus for his church. So let's prepare ourselves to give great thanks and to celebrate these sacred mysteries, calling to mind our sins. Lord, you were sent to heal us. Lord, have mercy. You came to call all sinners into oneness. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us always at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, creator of the world, under whose go governance the design for all the ages unfolds. Be attentive, we pray, to our petitions and grant to our times tranquility and peace that we may exult with unceasing joy in praise of your great mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, move on to Seraphath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Seraphath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm. 
Lord, let your face shine upon us. Lord, let your face shine upon us. When I call, answer me, O my just God, you who relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine upon us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So yesterday, we began the week with the very beginning of Jesus' so-called Sermon on the Mount, when he saw the crowds and he went up the side of the mountain in order to have some perspective and distance from which he could speak to them. In, Ma in Matthew's Gospel, the Sermon which is to say this collection of his teachings is different from in Luke's gospel. In Luke's gospel, he's on a plain, a flat land, and he's standing there among the people. Here, he's sitting on the side of the mountain teaching. And he starts off strong, of course, with the Beatitudes. It must have been completely awesome breathtaking to listen to Jesus speak these words. Most scholars believe that he said these different passages at different times, not all at once necessarily. Here he continues in this so-called Sermon on the Mount with these images that he puts forth as descriptions of who we must be as children of our Heavenly Father. Salt of the earth, he says, that's what we are. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? Salt is, as we all know, one of the most stable, unchanging kinds of things we have. It doesn't 
decompose, it doesn't break down. It stays salt on the shelf for many years. But if it's old and it uh, mixes with air and water and, and combines with, with other things in the environment, well, in that sense, it can lose its saltiness if it, if it dissipates, if it, if it dissolves into the world, so to speak. But if salt loses its saltiness, it's worthless to us. He says, you are the light of the world. He says the same of himself, of course. I am the light of the world. But he gives that to us here. A city set on a mountaintop cannot be hidden. In Israel, you can go through the countryside and you can see for many miles these high hills called tells on which are built the towns. Now they've been, some of them have been there for as long as 10,000 years or more. And so they built up the ground beneath them and became hilltop cities that way. You can't hide that plate that place. It can be seen for many miles. And you don't take a lamp and light it at night and then put it under a basket. That's ridiculous. But that's what we can do with ourselves. We can hide ourselves. So Jesus says, your light must shine like that city on the hill. Your light must shine like the, like the lamp that's set on top of that basket rather than underneath it. Your light, as he interprets it, he says, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. For our light to shine forth, it's not, it's not meant to point to us. We in our faith and in our love are mere reflections of the love that comes from Christ. And so we, in our good works, point to him and point to God the Father. People who do good works, who live out their faith and their love, they never point to themselves, do they? They're kind of surreptitious about it. They, they come and they help out and they do many things. No one sees them. They don't make a big deal about themselves or what they do. But in that very attitude, in that very way of behaving, their light shines forth.
This morning, as many of you, I'm sure, are aware, we are celebrating this Eucharist at the time of the funeral of George Floyd. And he has become the focus for so many of us here in the United States recently. And so we offer our prayers this morning for peace and reconciliation. And we're mindful of these needs this morning especially. Trusting in God's goodness and mercy, let us humbly bring our prayers and petitions before him. For all priests and pastors, may the Lord continue to bless them and strengthen them in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, may the spirit of wisdom guide their work of governance, injustice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live in despair and darkness, may the Lord bring them comfort and healing of mind and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all members of our family of faith, may the Lord's goodness continue to shine upon them and make them holy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. For all who have died, may the Lord joyfully welcome them into his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. We especially pray for the repose of the souls of Artemio G. Gopez, Jennifer Batuga Gargano, Maximo V. Gopez, and Leo Alonzo. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our own special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayers. Let's remember too the peace and reconciliation of our country for an end to, to the systems that preserve racism among us and for all those who suffer that affliction. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. I would also ask your prayers for my father on this, the 35th anniversary of his death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Gracious Lord, hear the prayers of your people, which we offer with sincere hearts, and answer them in accordance with your divine will. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Lord, accept the sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Virgin, by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all who minister to your word. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her blessed spouse, St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, Almighty, uh, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the coming, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of that peace. Christ, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We proclaim Christ crucified. Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God.
Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, that we may be effective in nursing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to live the gospel in your lives. Thanks be to God.